the land was birthed from a desire to learn and a burning passion to share. To learn from all the great gospel musicians and to share the lives of these personalities in such a real way that inspires, informs and encourages. To see the details that are never seen on stage or behind the pulpit. Their strengths, their weaknesses, their challenges, their very everyday lives. I have recently realized how practical Christian living is still a huge mystery. In the Lounge presents an opportunity to demystify this, to equip the body of Christ with the tools that will help us all be better ministers, better musicians, while reinforcing the unity of the body of Christ. few months since I released my first single, Not Like You, and I understand the guys at JP have decided to, you know, play around it and do some remixes. So I'm driving up there to the lounge to meet Derby and the team. It's always exciting to see them. They always have something up their sleeves, eh? <laughs> On his birthday and his wedding anniversary, he launched his first single ever. And he happened to record it here actually. So he's coming to do the same song with us in a remix with us, Calvis. Everybody else is waiting, impatiently excited about it. But he's a very busy man, you see. He's a very, very busy man. What are your expectations? Uh, expectations. Uh, uh, let's go in there and see what, what's going to happen. I'm excited about not like you. I, I I love what I've heard so far. You know, exploring different rhythms and you know styles. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Yay! 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 I don't come from a family that's blessed with music. You know, we don't have musicians in our family. Nothing like that. Nobody plays the instrument. My father claims he was in the choir once, but yeah, I think my mother was also in the choir in the Methodist church. Yeah, she has some very nice alto. Yeah, but I, I grew up with my grandmother and in that house, it was a very large house, fa family house, you know, the ga type of family house with all the young ones there, everybody playing loud music. It was like a competition, you know? Uh, playing, you know, the latest music, the funk, the love songs and all that. So I easily pick up those songs. People always asking about Fred Hammond. Some people even think that 
I just use the name Hammond because of Fred Hammond. But it's my name. It's my father's name. I mean, it's, it's, it's coincidence. I could say it's coincidence. But then again, I would say that's how God does his things. A cousin of mine walked to me uh, somewhere after I'd finished high school. I completed a fan spin. And he brought me a tape, and it was Fred Hammond's tape. I mean, then we had tapes. We didn't have much of CDs. The title of the album was Spirit of David, where you have the Spirit of the Lord comes upon my heart. And he gave me this tape, and, and he said that, oh, somebody gave it to him. And because he saw the Hammond, he thought <laughs> I would like it, so he brought it to me. That was, that was all. I started listening to his songs. And at that time, I was really struggling with, you know, the secular music, the love songs, the hip hop and all that. So listening to Fred Hammond's songs, especially the song, Breathe into me, O Lord, the breath of life. When I hear that song, you know, it's, it does something to me. And some way, somehow, I cleared all my other CDs. But everything got more serious when I went to university. I mean, that is where I, 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 I realized that look, I have something special and God had called me into the music ministry. I joined joyfully when I went to the university. Once again, Jebby took me there. Jebby took me to two rehearsals in one day. To joyfully and to God's instruments. Uh, that's the choir for the Baptist Students Union. That's, that's how I started. I met wonderful people in tech, you know, I mean, the, the kind of people you can see and watch them. You say, is this guy crazy? I mean, you see McAfee, the Henry's, the Coders, you know, and for some of them, I, I couldn't even believe they were students in the first place, the kind of things they were doing. And I was really, I was really challenged. I was really challenged. I mean, the team there, Graciela, the Fibers, the Satifios, I mean, too many people to learn from. And they really pulled me up, you know, teaching me. I had to learn everything from scratch about music ministry because for me, before then, it was all about singing. I just enjoyed the singing, but now I had to learn the music ministry, and knowing the purpose of what I'm singing. Yeah. And when it comes to Calvis Hammond's ministry, the joyful, I, I, I can say uh, the distribution is like 95% to 5%, 95% going to Joyful Way because most of what I do is with Joyful Way. Uh, we, we, we have a lot of programs, a lot of outreaches, going out to the schools, going out to the towns, going out to churches, and even spending time to build ourselves as members. So I spend a lot of time at Joyful Way, and being the music and production director, almost everything goes to me. So very little time for myself as Carlos Hammond and uh, my own ministry.
actually written by my wife Kate I mean she is more gifted in terms of songwriting she's written a number of songs for impact project and she has loads of them at home so she wrote a song she recorded it and sent it to me and you know I had put it you know on the shelf for a while because like I said I've been busy with joyful way and all that till one day I was at a prayer meeting we were praying. Then the chorus of None Like You was just ringing through my head. So I had to excuse myself from the prayer meeting. Don't try this at home. I had to excuse myself from the prayer meeting and make sure, you know, I record the song that, that came to me. Because most of the time I get songs coming to me and they get lost. So I just went to hide somewhere. And I recorded, there is none like you. Sing it. There is none like you. There is none like you. There is none like you. When the last one comes, you'll get it. The last one where I hope that there is none like you is still there. She's singing the oh. <laughs> engineer by training I'm married to one wife <laughs> music has been a part of me before I was even me because my parents and my grandparents on both sides were musicians my mom's dad wrote some of the popular tune folk tunes like sound sound Kuma and things like that so the thing is um, I believe in spending a lot of time to rehearse to practice personally. That's outside the group rehearsals and things, you know. At the same time, I believe and I know that a marriage will not work if you don't invest time into it. So it's it's a it's a balance that I'm I'm still trying to get. I haven't gotten it. I don't know if I will ever get, but I know I'll forever continue trying. <laughs> 
you know how to balance sometimes i come home and i want to just rehearse or try something out at the same time i want to balance that with um making time to um for my wife natasha to find out yeah spend time with her so it's it's a daily learning journey for me how to actually get that to work properly but she's always first music is never ever supposed to be jebet productions the idea is um, to have an organization that serves that serves through excellence in everything we do and the main focus the main people we are looking at serving is the body of christ we are available to support either via tuition we have music classes we teach them um, guitars keyboards or we sometimes have workshops with choirs and things giving god your best is the difference so the question you asked about people trying to pitch and trying to sound like it's a good thing to look around you and have an idea of what's possible but what should be your challenge is how you can be better so improvement is making better what you have been called to do it's not seeking to be what you are not Welcome everybody, this is um, in the lounge, the tutorial for the Nun Like You shoot. The plan for today is to demonstrate seven elements we'll highlight relevant to the song um, in question, Nun Like You by Calvis Hammond, that will be um, using as a demonstration for this tutorial, for mainly for backing vocalists, but very also important to anybody who's into singing, so music directors, conductors, um, producers, lead singers, there are lots of very beautiful nuggets we're going to share um, today. So. Stay tuned. Okay, so diction. There's diction when you are singing and there's diction when you are speaking. When you're speaking, even when you're singing too, it's literally how you pronounce words, your vowels, your consonants, how you put them together to pronounce your word. Um, now when we're doing it, when we're singing and we want to blend, we have to make sure that we're agreeing on what we want to say and how we want to pronounce the words so for example in none like you we do something where we sing there is none like you and we don't say there is we say there is because when you have a vowel flanked by two a consonant flanked by two vowels the s sound changes to a z sound so we sing, there is none la haiku. Should we try it? Right, let's go. One, two, three, four, go. There is none la haiku. 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 Now another part we do it in, we sing how great you are, how great you are. So it's the more like a chu instead of a to you. Does that make sense? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so how great you are. And we put a, a bit of emphasis on the R so that we sound together as one. one. Okay, should we try that one? One, two, oh. King of kings. Lord of Lords, Mighty One, how great you are. Again, Mighty One, how great you are. One more time, Mighty One, how great you are. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Yo, give it a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about tone, tone is simply the color of your voice, the feel of your voice. And it's also known as timbre, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the spelling is T-I-M-B-R-E. Yeah, and uh, there are a whole lot of tones and vocal effects we can use in a song as we agree on as a team. And for now, like you, the ones, the very dom dominant ones we used were the chest voice, breathy and then soft. Breathy and soft are two different things. So we are going to demonstrate everything for you to see and learn. All right, so the part I would want us to use 
for the chest voice because it comes easily over there is that there is none like you party so can we all try that right okay. all right so ready one two go there is none like you 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 beautiful so that was from our chest we did it very well from our chest the next the next part of the song i would want to use for breathy is where we did it so that was for breathy and then the very last part that's for the soft we are going to use Ooh. Yes. And I, I really want you to notice the difference between, between the breathy, where we do a lot of breathing on, on the song, and the soft, where we just go very gentle on the song. All right, so. Ooh. so much for that um a quick one there just to summarize what she said it's quite important because we all have our unique voice colors we are brought up picking up different things because of maybe our different vocal mentors or the influences we have vocally but the key thing is here having a great um vocabulary array nice things that you can actually pick up from and do together the problem is if you don't actually build your your array or your vocabulary of tones you are limited because when it comes to for example in a song like this where we say let's go breathy if you're not used to singing breathy you're always the one who always belts for example then as a team you might not be able to achieve a good blend so the key thing here is individually for vocalists soloists whoever develop a good um, flexibility so you can you can sound soft you can use your head voice you can use um falsetto smoothly so when it says okay let's all do this together as a tone you can actually say yes i know this and i'm going to actually implement that tone because it's part of my vocabulary of tones i can apply so thank you so much for that
for you It's all about you 